Okay, the Miss America beauty pageant will no longer be a beauty pageant. It will be a competition. The organization announced today in a statement, we are no longer a pageant. Miss America will represent a new generation of female leaders focused on scholarship, social impact, talent, and empowerment. But this competition will not include the swimsuit competition with the organization stating it, quote, will no longer judge our candidates on their outward physical appearance. Well, let's debate this uh, wisdom of these things with Madison Gessiotto, a former Miss Ohio in the Miss USA pageant. All right, now, this is wild, because if, if Madison outward appearance has no relevance whatsoever to this whole thing, then why don't you just do it, like, on the radio? Why can't it just be a radio? Right. On, I, I host a radio show, and a caller called in today and made that comment. I was screaming, laughing. I'm like, you could have just, uh, you just didn't have to do the makeup, the hair, just, just, just talk. No, they're exactly right. I'm not impressed with what Miss America organization has decided to do. And when you look in the dictionary at the actual definition of pageant, it's a beauty contest. And, of course, outward beauty is not as important as inner beauty. But at the same time, it doesn't mean that outer beauty can't exist and that women should be shamed or banned from being able to express themselves and feel confident, have a positive body image, and show off their physical fitness. There's nothing wrong with that. No one's forced to compete in Miss USA or Miss America. And there's literally nothing left. Not only did they eliminate swimsuit, they took away evening gown, too. Oh, no, I think they're going to alter. Is, is the evening gown? Oh, evening be... gown can now be anything you want. You can just wear an outfit. You can wear athleisure if you feel oh, like that's... it. <laughs> Well, don't you hate the phrase athlete? Oh, by hey, the way? that's the point. One of the worst. So no, so it. it I know. I, I didn't know that it was in the '90s is when the there was a um, the bikini started. So the, it was like '97, I think they started doing the bikinis, which yes. you know the men like it, but you know it's a little much on the bikini. But the the one piece, I thought that was really pretty and dignified and also you know sexy, attractive. Um, but what is this about? Just as the Me Too thing, don't. Don't hate us because we're beautiful. Thing, I'm like, what is it? I don't even understand. I can't. I can't even deal. keep up with the feminist movement on Me Too when it comes to the relationship to pageants. Because the first thing they were saying is that women should be empowered, able to wear whatever they want. Now all of a sudden, women should not be able to wear whatever they want. I, I can't keep up. It's ridiculous. They're totally off base. They make no sense. And I don't think they're really making positive impact on the Me Too movement with this ridiculous. And I also think that in a way, they're implicitly casting aspersions on people like you. Now, you were Miss Ohio for in, in Miss USA mm -hmm. uh, pageant. And you're, you just uh, took the bar, passed the bar. Congratulations. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. So you're going to go on and be a lawyer. And, and so many people who are in these pageants, competitions, go on to do incredible things. Absolutely. As maybe they're mo professional moms. Maybe they're doctors, lawyers. Lawyers, doctors, but just mothers. Because you're, just because you're attractive doesn't mean you also don't have all these other things that you want to do in life. You know, exactly. It should never be mutually exclusive, and that's what I think it seems like they're trying to make it. Is there a real rivalry between the Miss America people and the Miss USA people? I sense so the, that. So the joke has always been, Miss America is the girl next door, Miss USA is the girl you wish lived next door. Oh. That's, so that's, that's all I have to say on that. So there's definitely a rivalry still so, right. Miss America and Miss <laughs> Madison, USA. Madison, you're going to be a huge success. It's great to Thank have you, you. on.